Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to be going through how to export uh, objects from later versions of MA2 uh, into previous versions. Uh, now before I jump into it, obviously uh, if the MA software is not natively supporting something and you make it do something, I mean you make it do that thing and it doesn't work out right, um, obviously uh, MA was not endorsing that, otherwise they would not have made it uh, an issue in the first place. So I just don't want anybody complaining to ACT or to MA because they try this and something goes wrong because they obviously did put the effort in to make sure people weren't doing it. Um, with that said, uh, I personally have never had an issue with it. I've done it with uh, fixture profiles, I've done it with plugins, macros, effects. Uh, never once had an issue. That's not to say that it can't have an issue, that's just to say that I have never experienced it. Um, and also, before I jump into it, um, I'm going to be doing this with a fixture profile out of 3.5 into version 3.3. Um, I actually noticed I was going to do it importing to version 3.0. Uh, versions 3.0 and 3.1 did not have anything uh, preventing the importing of future versions as far as uh, fixture profiles were concerned, which I found interesting. Um, so I guess if you need a workaround, you could import it to version 3.0 and then export it out of there again. Um, but uh, for other things, I, I don't know that speaks that works universally. I didn't go into testing 10 million things. Um, just going to show you the process by which you could alter it uh, should you need to. Um, so with all of that preface and whatever said, uh, let's jump into it. Uh, so I'm in version 3.5 here, and I'm going to export a quantum spot. I, I know it exists in th version 3.3 already. I just couldn't think of a fixture profile off my head that I needed, so I'm going to use this. Um, so we're going to go to our fixture types. Uh, now this is already in our patch. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to export it to my uh, flash drive. So I've just exported it. That's the entire process from this version. So we're done here. Uh, and if I go to my library here, I'm going to type in quantum. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Um, so there's, there's the one I just uh, exported. So now I'm going to open up version 3.3. Do -ba -do 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 -do. All right, patch and fixture schedule. And just to show you, I'm going to try to import it from my flash drive. I hit import. You'll notice nothing pops up here. If I close out, we can actually go into here, and it'll show you that zero objects were imported from that XML file, which means that the import failed. Uh, I'm going to go back now, uh, and I'm going to edit, oops, wrong explorer, here we go. Uh, so I'm going to edit this. Um, I'm using a program called, uh, let's just close these and start over. Uh, I'm using a program called uh, XML Copy Editor. It's just a text editor that's aimed toward XML files. You can use any text editor. It doesn't have to color code your stuff. Um, I just prefer this one for, I guess, because I've just had it forever. Uh, so on the second line of the XML file that was exported uh, to represent that fixture profile, if you, it has the uh, information about uh, MA, how it was exported. If I skip to the very end of this line, uh, there's information. You'll see major version, minor version, stream version. These are the first three numbers of the four in your version number. So this is 350. The last one is your debug revision number. I don't know what they're technical term for it is, um, but that one is irrelevant for these. So if I just change this to be version 3, I'm going to change this from version 3.5 to 3.0. I'm going to save and I'm going to close. Now I can go back here. I can say quantum, import it from my flash drive. I will cycle back to it just to refresh it. I will hit import and we can see that our uh, quantum has now imported successfully. If I go to fixture types, it does have all the information there that that quantum should have. Um, again, you can do this with effects, you can do this with uh, macros, whatever, even I can go open up uh, an effect. Let's see, effects exported. Uh, let's export flyouts.xml. Again, it's, oops, that's not what I meant to do. No, I'm screwing it all up now. All right. Man, I just did that. You'd think I would learn. Um, anyways, 
all of their XML files have the same information at the top. This one was already exported from version 334. Um, but for anything else that gets exported, I mean, you have effects that go out into the effects folder, macros into the macros folder, um, plugins to plugins. Uh, anything that doesn't have a designated folder basically goes into import export. Um, but anything that exports to an XML file that can then be imported from that XML file, you can just edit that number and it will allow it to import. I cannot guarantee you that the import will work as expected, but I can tell you that it will allow it to import. Um, save for any failures, I guess, that come up in the process. It will at least try it, is what I'm saying. Um, so there's that. Anybody who ever needs that, needs to export to a previous version, you maybe have a giant library of macros that's on your future show file and you have to jump into some install, Whatever the situation is, that's that's how you can tweak with it. Um, so there's that. That's how you do that. Um, there's social media information in the description and all that and more tutorial videos in the future and all the stuff you're supposed to say at the end of a video. Uh, so there's that. Have fun and uh, catch you guys later.